Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the severance. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on, to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtains. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Dada. Y'all already know what it is. Like, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Um, the boys were busy this week, so we didn't get to really jump in and do a podcast for y'all. You know, all that good shit. Listen, it was Friday, summertime, we get busy, or we got, you know, want to have some fun. It's what we do. So, I said, fuck it, I'll jump on here, do a little quick something, something, drop it on y'all. And if y'all like it, y'all like it. If you don't, you don't. Fuck it. You know, it's what I could do. So, you get a video, vignette, whatever these marks want to call these things, it's a video. And they're saying, oh, remember what we did? And that's what I'm talking about, the calling in, in Mexico with Lance and Anawai. Now, hear me out with this. Okay. What well, looks like a liver, right? They're playing with some piece of muscle or something, right? And they got the lighter to it, and they're acting like we're going to cook up and eat this shit. And they're acting like they legit took the liver out of Lance and Hawaii. And I was like, oh, man. This looks like they might be writing Lance off. <clears throat> now, this would be super bad for multiple reasons. Lance on Hawaii is proving himself to be super legit, right? Like, let's keep it 100 if you were to break up SST for any reason, Lance on Y would be the guy to keep. Now, I love Juicy. Juicy does what he does. Guys at that weight don't do what he does. But Lance, he if this was like a baseball thing, he'd be the he'd be a five tool player. He can do everything, right? He has so much value to MLW alone that nobody in the calling has. You know what I'm saying? So you go, well, what the, f what are you doing, right? Like, why would you even not utilize Lance to the fullest? Because, and, and I'm not, there's no shitting on it. I'm trying to do this as nice as possible because we try to stay pretty positive. Even though we keep it 100, we try to stay pretty positive and not just air somebody out for whatever. But I'm going to keep it really, really, really real with you. RSP has been a complete flop. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, I was so hyped up when I heard, oh, shit, like, Ricky Shane Page is coming in. Now, I'm not a big death guy match, but I know his work, and the guy can wrestle his ass off, right? Pause. But he's done nothing that you go, oh, that that's who who we got him. Look at that match. None. Kira, another guy that I was like, oh, Kira's a badass. He's had a few good matches, but nothing where you go, that's the shit. Now, think about it. He's holding a belt that Myron Reed, to me, is the greatest middleweight champion in MLW history. Look at the great matches Myron Reed has had. Now, if you're going to put him in a quick position of winning a title that fast, putting him in a faction, he better have something as good as Reed. And has not. Raven is corny. It just seems like he's mailing it in, right? Like, there's no real drive to him. There's no real commitment, it feels like. He just He's part of this, and nah, I'll take a paycheck, and I'm good, right? And then you have Mandy Leon, who, for the short promo work she's done in the few matches, she's looked really good. So you go, okay, I, I see where the direction with Leon is going. It looks pretty good. But that's it, right? So you go, well, look at what Lance and Juicy have been doing. They've been killing it as the tag team champs. Now, yeah, they haven't tag team champs for a while. But in their run, they've had some really, really damn good matches. And then you got the calling. Outside of being a faction, that's all they've done. It's just be a group. The Gas Mass Assassins guys have done more than anyone else in MLW. Dr. Cornwallis, haven't really even seen him do shit. You're keeping a group around just to have a group. And then if you are writing Lance off with this whole, you know, with eating them or whatever. Serious? For these guys? You're going to let go someone that talented for that? Like, Court's got to do a better job with seeing what he's seeing. Because calling is whack. 
You know, I'm just keeping it 100. And I've been on here. I'm, I was the one person defending the calling. Like, nah, this is going to be dope. This is going to be fire. <clears throat> I like what I see. This is that. Look, it's going to be something deep and dark and crazy. I'm not a gothic type of dude. But I, I was like, I seen what I, I thought was going to be fire. This shit is whack. <laughs> just, I got to, listen. All this comes off me. This is me. This ain't my whole team saying it's whack. This is me saying it's whack. This is just me. This is my opinion. But we got to be honest. Like, dog, come on, man. Lance is one of the best talents that was in the company. And if you got him supposedly getting his liver eaten by, by these guys? I mean, it's kind of like, and I'm going to leave you with this. Jacob Fatu said, yo, I do this shit for real, in real life. I hope you understand, like, he was trying to say, I bang on all of y'all, dolo. What do you think would happen if I had Lance and Juicy and we, we really wanted to? Body these dudes, right? Like, and he even said a body count. Like, come on, Dunn. Like, this feels like they might be writing off, and I'm, I'm going to say it, Jacob Fatu as well. I'm just being honest with you. It feels like this is the direction they're going. And if you got the bozo-ass group, the calling, write these guys off, I'm I'm telling you now, I'm going to do a lot of these by myself because my guys aren't going to want to do a segment with me airing this shit out because this is just, the calling has been the biggest bust in MLW history of a group. I'm just keeping it 1,000 with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Monday morning. You'll see this Monday afternoon for my entire team. Hopefully, we see uh, next weekend because we record on Fridays and drop everything off on the next week. We out of here. Deuces.